So last night most of the country got a kind of a freak snowstorm in the middle of March when we we're I guess yesterday it was 70 degrees and it felt like spring and today it's in the 20s and probably five or six inches of snow. I'm going to measure this snow and see how much we actually got. We're in East Tennessee so we got this is abnormal for us we normally don't get this much snow especially in the middle of March. Let's see what we got. There's the top of the deck. We got looks like five inches. Yeah, about five inches. So they were calling for three to five inches for us, and we got the upper majority of it. Yeah, at least four and a half to five inches. Yeah, it doesn't really do good. It smashes down. Yeah. So a good five inch snow, that's a lot for us. We normally don't get no more than two or three inches at the most. But today, the puppies are one week old. You can go check on them and we've got to feed the dogs and feed the chickens and hopefully not fall going down these steps. In our garden, we covered up our first row of it, so I've probably got to unsmash it down. It don't look too bad, but we got onions and radishes, or not radishes, we got onions and turnips right now. And um, cut, barely to cover them up before the snow came yesterday, so I've got to get them uncovered. You can see them back here. Looks like the turnips are still held up, but the onions are flopped down some, so probably need to fix them. Hey, Moose, what do you think about the snow? Hmm? What do you think? You even got snow under the barn, didn't you? You're all icy. You're icy, Moose. You got ice on your eyebrows. You like this weather, don't you? You snow dog? You snow dog? You see where he's been in his doghouse. But he got a lot of snow under here. It's, it was super windy last night and the wind even blowed it in our front porch and everywhere. Hey buddy. Here for some food. Um, let's see. You got plenty of food, you just got snow all over it. There you go. There you go. Let's see. You want one of these? You want that? A burnt cookie? No, nope, you don't. There you go. There you go. You can have you a burnt cookie. Also, being so cold today. We're gonna have to make sure we keep their ice broken. No, it's not that, not that icy. It's just kind of slushy. There we go. We just have to keep an eye on that and make sure it don't doesn't freeze up today. Here you go, Moose. Here's another burnt cookie. Moose likes taking stings off and eating them by himself. Like you seen in the last couple videos, the egg. Yeah. And he also don't take stuff out of your hand really. You gotta put it in his bowl. Hey, Minnie. You like the snow? Hey, you like the snow? Watch out. Did you keep your puppies warm? Back up. Hey. You want know, some, um, well, let's get your water first. Oh, these have snow ring around their water. Chickens won't even be able to get it. This is where the chickens get most of their water, too. 
to clean it off from clean it off for them so they can actually get to it and break it off. There you go, Minnie. There's you some water. Chickens probably won't come out hardly at all today. But they'll need to get some water probably. Minnie, where's your bow? There it is. Where's your bow? Hey, you want a burnt cookie? There you go. Here's some food. Here's another burnt cookie. Right, let's give the rest of these to the chickens. Well, I guess I'll put it in their actual, i put their food in their actual, um, their tray. That way they all just buried in the snow. There's their tree. More burnt cookies. More burnt cookies. There you go. You can go find them in the snow. Curious to see if she'll actually dig through the snow and find them. All right, let's check on the puppies. They're a week old today. She had them last Saturday, and today's the next Saturday. So yesterday, before all the snow and wind and everything came, me and Beverly put out this cardboard cover on the um, window because the puppies are right behind that so figure that would block in some of the wind and cold snow and everything for them let's check on them i see some eggs what up chickens oh, they got they got wood chips all over them So since last Saturday, these puppies have pretty much doubled in size. You see how much bigger they are. Um, they were co that one was covered up in witches pretty well, and I didn't want to get him. I didn't want him to smother or nothing, so I picked him up and got him out under buried. And the rest of them had some wood chips on them, so I didn't really want them to get. They probably couldn't breathe or something. But I say they're pretty warm in here. I'm sure Minnie's been on top of them all night too. Bad thing is these chickens are going to be in here most of the day. So now let's get some eggs. Wow, we've got a lot of eggs. we got, here's five. One, two, three. Four, five, 
I've seen one over here, it looks like. Yep, there's six. I've seen one under here, too. Watch out, chickens. There's seven and eight. Eight eggs. So far I haven't seen any chickens peck at the puppies, so that's that's my main worry with the puppies being in the chicken coop. So we got what I say, seven or eight eggs. We only had four left from yesterday, so that'd be good for breakfast this morning. I hope the cat's joining. Go warm your puppies up. Go warm your puppies up. Hey. You eat your food. This is definitely the most snow we've ever had it since we've moved here. I guess growing up, there's been a handful of times we've had this much snow, but since moving to get married and moving here, it's the most we've ever had. Okay, that's locked. Now, since everybody's fed, let's go over here to the garden and see um, if the snow caused anything to collapse. Hey, Moose. Hey, you like the snow? You like the snow? Hey, buddy. Snow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Moose is a big goober, if you can't tell. Thank you, buddy. Now, right, here's the garden. like this is fell through a little bit I don't think there's anything there I think right there is where the turnips or the um, yeah, turnips are so I ain't gonna really mess with that here's where the onions are it's fell through a little bit but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it I think they'll be fine and the snow will actually insulate them some so I think they're, they'll be fine how they are. So, I'm gonna head on in and get out of this snowy cold weather. Tonight's supposed to be in the teens. Moose, you get tangled. Come here, come this way. Come this way. There you go, good job. Good job, Moose, good job main thing today is to keep their water we gotta keep all their water unfrozen hey buddy hey buddy I wanna check the measurement of like right here in the yard in my footprints yeah, it's a good it's at least five inches there's the ground. There's the ground. More like six inches. So yeah. I would say this is a good six inch snow. For sure. It's coming up, when I step in the ground, it's coming up to my ankles pretty much. Before the snow came, it was raining. And then it turned to ice. And then we went to bed about 
and it was icing in. So after that, after that, um, it showed about one o'clock it's turning to snow. So I guess it did. It's pretty crazy that it actually laid this much from being 70 degrees yesterday. Hey buddy, you don't like the snow? Thanks for watching and check back next time and see if we get even more snow. I say this will be our last snow for the year or for the winter season this year. See y'all next time. Bye.